I'm assuming we'll run into more such enemies. I mean, yeah, like the bandits that we ran into just then. We're also equipping stuff like that. This is an interesting pathway that feels like... I mean, it's obviously somewhat man-made. Even though it is somewhat removed from the village, I... or city. Did we... Oh, we overran it. We actually want to go to the left here. Yeah, this actually is not looking like a very big place. Not sure we're going to see much in the way of large cities. Of course, nothing that is on par with Novigrad in that regard, but yeah, that's that's interesting. I mean, we started here. We've already almost run to the northern tip of the island, so I think this will be a fair bit smaller than where we were before. That looks like it's a tunnel. So we actually want to go back this way. We want it to loop around and down, I think. Is it? Pretty sure there was a decline somewhere, because we are quite high up at the moment. Or at least we check what's over here. Speaking of maces growing on trees, I don't think anyone's getting mad at us. A silver ingot. Also good. Sure. Ooh, yeah. Definitely. Coach is just chilling. Oh. Well, we've already spoken to you. I mean, we perhaps have now gained other things that we'd like to sell to you. Like, at least that mace that is probably junk. Looking to buy? Uh, more like sell. Even though we Show me your wares. more or less just made you broke. Uh, did we not pick up junk just then? I thought we did. Is that making that up? Well, there it is. There it is. Oh, it actually has higher base damage. Is why it's showing up at the top, I think. Something like that. Uh, you are six coins away from being able to afford that. Is that reason enough for us to purchase even more from you? Uh, we'll, we'll pass for now. Unless you have, like, any really valuable or really useful crafting materials. I mean, you have some of the, the typical things we see. We need more sulfur. It's kind of hard to get. Let's just pick up like a little bit of that. And then we can. Uh, we actually may have had much more than I realized. Then we'll at least be able to sell. Now did the mace go down to the bottom? Now it went to the bottom. Just to mess with my brain. Doesn't stand still. So long. Mind of its own. Okay. So I do kind of want to see what is in here. Assuming that we can go in here. That we can. Um, a little confused as to why that guy would be deliberately or consciously staying out there when you could stay inside, where it's presumably a bit warmer. He's shelter from the wind. Yeah, I'm hoping what I'm looking for. What I'm hoping that we find in Skelga, that it gives some strong, some strong Iceland vibes. Because Iceland is cool. Also, of course, an island. And also, with a bit of a history of Vikings and things of the sort. So how do we actually get down? Uh, will we actually continue back through here? Oh. Just don't go pestering folk. Sorry, I guess I was pestering you. Can I that? So, is there like a ladder in one of these spots? Staircase that'll take us down? It does seem like we need that. It's like, the place we're trying to go is down there. Can we just go down here? Did we take a wrong turn, kind of, sort of? I think we might have actually wanted to go 
in this direction, I think. Hard Skellig Air Troll to Harbor. I think that's what we're looking for, is it not? Yeah. Okay. That's more like it. So, where we go to first? Maybe Notice Board and then Main Quest? Let's try that. We do get the, the marker. Hello. You have tried already. Keep making boats. Oh, and someone has a quest for us here. You? You? No. You. George. Listen, Witcher. There are some weird diablin. You know, drowners. No. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Yeah, we could probably handle that. What exactly is the problem? Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. Okay. Come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Thanks. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Okay. Yeah, this does sound like a, a Witcher contract. So, talk about the reward. Let's real quick. talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. Never mind the fact that we don't know what it is yet. Okay, this does seem like this is higher than anything we were seeing, or just about anything we were seeing on Novigrad slash Velen. Well, maybe some of the big ones. It was a while until we did. Well, what was the most recent Witcher contract we did? I think in Byways might have been similar to this in terms of price. Not sure what else. That's just uh, a bit high, Master. All right, we'll go down a little bit if you don't mind. About two seventy-five, eh? That's you know. dear, it is, but could be worth it. All right, I pay you what you want. Actually, we don't want the job. Nah, we'll take. It. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. This It'll shouldn't be, just be any old drowner, that. though. If it's a Witcher contract, right? Let's take a look. Our first side quest on Skelga. Well, I mean, technically we did have side quests on Skelga already. But 18, that's actually a pretty good fit. Pretty good fit for us. Was looking to go to the notice board first, though. That may have actually directed us to that guy after all. This is looking like that's ooh, probably going to be another thing that we investigate. I got the notice board, though. Work for a woodcutter. Ark, if you're sturdy, and got a sharp axe. Talk to Dauber, son of Godwin. You'll get good pay, food, and lodging. Okay, here's a contract. Stolen sword. Olaf, lead guard at Care Torold. Oh, that is the person... Isn't Olaf the person that we just walked into? Is like, stop pestering people? Would like to make the following known. Someone snuck into the, the Oncrate armory and stolen the sword known as Falu. The yellow-bellied scoundrel... Oh, let me rephrase that. The yellow bellied scoundrel who did the deed was seen leaving the village via the southern gate, heading toward the old fort. Whoever helps recover the sword will receive a reward worthy of his efforts, and whoever helps the thieves, a death worthy of his treachery. Okay. War contracts, woodland spirit, warriors of Skelga. Okay, no, I'm not going to do them all in that voice. If there's a man of ye brave enough, Although you're tempting me with the way you're writing this. To face the woodland spirit, the cruel oppressor of the inhabitants of Feyrland, they'll get a reward that'll keep them in need for a long while. We're not rich, but we've gathered a fair bit of coin between us. Come to Feyrland and ask for Sven. Okay, this is the contract we were just talking to that guy about, so as expected, it would have shown up on the notice board. Craving glory and gold? Got a sharp blade and 
not afraid of a fear of death? Then come see Bjorn, the master boatman, for he's got work for you. The Mjord Diablin in Caratroller Bay, they need to be killed, for they've multiplied and grown so fierce, you run into them every time you leave the harbor. Kill the beast, and you'll become famed throughout all the isles, I hope so, and your purse will be heavy with gold. Went lessons. Okay. I'm currently taking on pupils for lessons in the playing of Gwent. I only teach those who display discipline, a logical mindset, and the will to learn. Those with special aptitude are particularly welcome. Pupils must acquire and supply their own decks. I also am seeking more experienced players as partners to provide a challenge and chance for the mutual improvement of our skills. Also sounds good. This fights. And all this stuff is... Hey, there might have been one thing that wasn't actually a quest. I suspect everything else will give us something. Strong as a sea lion, slippery as an eel, and ready to fight against the best? Join our tournament and face the mightiest fists in the isles. Valrad of Kertrolde. Einar. Probably Einar. That's not usually how you spell Einar, but Einar of Pharaoh. And Grim of Arnbjorn. Don't delay. Glory and honor are just a fist fight away. Okay, let's see. Undiscovered locations, sure thing. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Uh, I assume this is safe to loot. <laughs> Suppose I probably should have looked around first. Usually going in here is fine, though. Ooh, we've not seen much amber stuff. Skelga style? That could be the, the fist fighting one. Family Blade. Yeah, we're getting tons of stuff here as anticipated. Be curious to check out the levels of those things. How much of that is immediately doable? I mean, you'd think that because we did leveling up a lot, so many side quests on Velen and Novigrad, that we should be in a decent place yet yeah, to jump straight into many of these here. Fist of Fury is probably not going to be a good fit for us just yet. Oh, it's Gwent Skellige style. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and there are even some of the multiple location quests. I think many of them were based, at least in part, in Skellige. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Having a lot of options in terms of what we get to do next, because when we're in, at least at the end, in Velen and Novigrad, we're getting to the point where we had slim pickings, it was largely just trying to find something that was a good level for us. Um, here, explain what we are looking at here. No? Maybe not? Okay, I think we've gone to the notice board, yes. We got a lot of quests from that. We will certainly explore the remainder of this area soon. So I think next on our list, let's start... Speaking to, uh, hold on. To Bid farewell to King Bran. See you're settling in like a ship's run aground. Wanted to look around. Oh, that's the person we fought, like where I've landed. I think we probably want to at least initiate the main quest here, because I think that we'll have more people who are actually willing to talk to us after then. Oh, there's something over here, though. Down there, let's see. You guys? Skellica? Or you? You, Skelliger. Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What's the matter? What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I should pay you back every last copper, I swear it. Absolutely not gonna happen. calling me at my address in Novigrad. Mm. I mean, I definitely don't believe your little tale. It's, I mean, it's not a huge amount of coins, so we could drop the... I mean, it's, it's something. But I'm curious to see if more comes of it if we say no heard a few too many tales like yours to believe yet another to tell you the truth 
I'd probably not believe it either. <laughs> Alas, I must count on the kindness of others. Okay, I mean... Oh, and then... Mm, ah, I was hoping something else would come of it. Not that we would just miss a quest altogether by turning him down. Now, I am strongly displeased by that. Now it just feels like FOMO. That makes me angry. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let us carry on. Is it a reason to save scum? No. No. We got a pretty high bar for that. Um. What is this? Is, is this a Viking funeral for the king? What? Or the Jarl? This doesn't look good. Yeah, we might have picked a, a bad time to show up. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. What a rebel. Gerald, remember this. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. Hmm? She going with him? She like sacrificing herself basically? He got out the flaming arrow. Don't miss. That would be embarrassing. Yes. Okay, she is there. Confirm. And it's Yennefer! Hey, what'd we miss? You look beautiful. Gerald, time and a place. Thank this you. is not it. Nice to see you again. Don't hit on her at a funeral. King Bran of Clan Twirsek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. Um, Carol, once again, really, dude? <laughs> I mean, part of me is interested to, to do this just to see how far along Geralt will go here. But I think the more important question is whether or not you, you knew Bran. Yes, he was well respected. Unlike his wife. Oh. Skellige. Also, it's been it a very time. long time since we last saw Yen. Very war, long time. And we overall spent very little time with him. Unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates oh. of Care Troll stand That's open important. to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Me oh, and me absolutely will be not pronouncing that, that way. Where's <laughs> the wake? Those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth and fight to the death. 
Gerald. Uh. What is all? I mean, I get it. I get it that they are a couple. But still, like, just, just control yourself, Gerald. Seriously. So like, like this? No, no. It also, I mean, like, we probably should go to this wake. But Come still, to the wake with me. Gladly. Feast. Kind of weird. Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Uh, which... Hold on. Can she actually read minds? Is that a thing? Like I said, I know almost nothing about Yennefer... Other than just that, well, I mean, we met her at the very beginning of the game, or at least in our, I guess that was technically a vision slash memory that we had, and she was uh, not the kindest of people, uh, was a bit of a bully, to be honest, and uh, now it's at least seemingly being a little bit kinder, first impression, or I guess, second impression, if you will, but uh, yeah, no, it seems like in both cases, Geralt is implying that, yes, she's absolutely reading our mind, which is pretty crazy. Didn't know that was reading a thing. Reading my mind again. Mm. What's more, I like what I see. She doesn't deny it. So apparently we showed up at Skelga, right as the Velen? king was having his funeral. What did we learn in Velen? Uh, we'll... Velen or Novigrad? This will start with Velen. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? I don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. I think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures Thrones. more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Well, we know what they are. Carol? Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. Um. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Was. Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Siri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Okay. As for Novigrad, though. Been to Novigrad. Siri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not really much. Really don't. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what the she words to of the do. curse, but that's about it. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. And that. I'll look at it later. Okay. What about you? You've been chilling in Skelga for a while now, and you didn't really give us a ton of context as to what exactly you were trying to do here, other than yes, just locating Siri. How about you? What have also, you who's that random person we're zooming in on for a second there? On a, time ago. a disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Is that one of the people who we were just hearing talking? Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors. Not even for old time's sake. Okay, well that's, uh, that's good to know at least. Why won't they let you check out the zone? Are they doing something there? So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Hello? Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. 
I have an important matter to discuss with you. Okay. Yes, we can't I discuss now. I should go back and wait for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. <laughs> just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krug, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Okay. Guessing, yeah, that we're going to get a bunch of new character entries here. And not sure we have a lot of information or context here. Sort out who of those people is most significant to us. I'm thinking maybe we pull out a little bit so we find out more about that. And okay, we have successfully arrived at Skelga. I was about to try to loot your stuff, but I'm thinking you're probably not going to get happy or with me if I were to do it, so like, could you just turn the other way real quick? So I can take my whopping three horns. Now you're getting close. Probably don't want to steal at the moment. But uh, let's take a quick look at what we have now. The king is dead. Long live the king. <laughs> Meet Yennefer at the entrance. Go to Yennefer's room and put on formal attire. We should probably do that first. Don't try to make me go there before I put on the attire. Yen says it's not optional. And I think, you know, nothing new on the, the side quest things at the moment. Okay. You're continuing to make the rounds. Like a stealth game. Have to time the looting. So as to make sure that no one is just in the act. I'm assuming these people get mad at us if we do boot directly in front of them. They're presumably, like I was saying before, the Skelga versions of the guards we've seen in the past. Stop looking at us! And don't turn around to face us again. That's not cool either. I don't think there's anyone over here. This one's probably safe to take, but also not. Very good. That's much better. Okay. Got this right here. There are a lot of you. Waiting for you to get mad at me. <laughs> okay, well, it seems like that was just about it. So, oh, goodness. This one we can probably... A little bit more, but also it's just water. That might have been close. Okay, I think that's just about everything. Besides maybe this stuff. Yeah. Don't know what we just discovered. Hard scale of something. Boo! <laughs> Don't mind us as we basically drop down there. Uh, is this technically inside and therefore safe to loot? It might be. I'm hoping that it is. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's go grab the formal attire. I do wonder if we could just throw on any of the attire that we've already picked up. Fancy stuff that we made a point of holding on to. How far away is that? I assume it's close by, right? Not that far away? Yeah, it's just in the northern, more section of the town. Huh. Lots more question marks that have shown up now that we have gone to a notice board, which is understandable. Yeah, a lot more things in the water, which also makes sense with what with this being an archipelago. Oh, we do have a fast travel location, at least on some of the islands. Possibly even all of them? Okay, not quite all of them. 
that is interesting because that means if we wanted to we could teleport straight to one of those islands my guess is we want to focus primarily on the tasks at hand here not get too far ahead of ourselves at the moment also few things we've not yet done here like speak to the herbalist who is presumably right here Hello? Would you like to buy something from Miss Dash? I have to take a look, but also apparently you can play as a Gwen. Maybe. Let me see what you got. Uh, anything special here? Uh, what is this? Brown or pheromones? Formula for bringing a Witcher potion? Or, or, hey, I mean it's pretty cheap. Sure. I have to imagine if it's using primarily drowner stuff that we should have the materials for it, right? Anything else of interest? I mean, the ergot seeds have been hard to get at times, so I'm a little bit tempted to go that route. But I think we probably can pass. Good to know you're here, though. Bison grass also can be tough to get at times. But as I was saying before, I don't really know. Could find it. Things are different here, now that we are on a completely different area. Let's try playing you round or two at cards. Oh, okay. Let's it's been a while cards. since we had someone that Went we be decide what we want to bet on when we're playing them at Gwent. Okay, I think... Did we put Geralt into our deck already? I think we did. So you will have the honor of being the first person that we play at Gwent on Skellige. You go first, and you are Nilf Guardian, which is a little odd, but okay. I don't know, does Skellige? I guess Skellige doesn't have its own group, its own faction. We have a bunch of heroes here. Okay, and fitting that we drew Yennefer. And we do want some siege. We don't have a ton of that. Well, actually, we have our siege experts, so I think Death Mold, you're probably the odd man out here. Vesemir, same story. Okay, we got a Commander Sworn that's going to do precisely nothing for us right now, unless we get something from... Playing our spy right here. Can we draw another siege expert? Are oh, you gonna steal our spy? I mean, that is a good play. So we have a bunch, I mean a bunch of siege and then a bunch of heroes. That's about it. Commander's Horn doesn't really do us any good. Probably should have actually tried rerolling that, to tell you the truth, because we already have our leader ability, which doubles the siege row. So this isn't doing anything for the Seedro. We have no units besides heroes that we play in other pros, so yeah, it is quite literally doing nothing. But we do have ourselves some pretty solid heroes. Let's lead off with a smaller one here. Might even find that our opponent immediately passes. Know that- oh, we're just gonna turn around and play Stennis against us? Rude. Right after you stole him? I mean, now we can double him and that would actually serve a purpose. So perhaps something to be said for that. I mean, we don't want to play Yennefer next, because she's a hero. Or rather, she's a, a medic. And we don't have anything to play from our graveyard yet, so that's definitely something we want to hold on out, um, hold out for. Could even go for the aggressive round one play. I usually try to avoid doing that in the first round. That way we have a better sense as to, uh, are we trying to win round, or which rounds are we going to try to win? Like, we do have a ton of siege happening. Can we do that now, though? Because we have a medic, I think maybe we do. So many siege experts as well. It's just odd. I don't think we've ever had all of them in our hand at once like this. Okay, now you pass. Okay, fine. Sure. Does mean we overinvested a bit, but I think we'll still take it because we will, of course, draw a card here. After winning a round as Northern Realms. And we have the Medic, so we can play one of those cards that we have in our graveyard, and that includes a Spy. And that is awfully tempting to say, do that immediately. When can we do that? Play Yennefer. Use Yennefer to... I was concerned there. <laughs> this is a little bit too much of a pause before you were showing me which cards they could play. I was like, uh, does it not work right now for some reason? We could immediately Scorch to remove Stennis. 
And we also got a melee nerf, which is fitting right now, given how many cards you are playing in the melee row. So I'm thinking what we do here is we play a hero. So we delay for a time in order to set up the Scorch. And if it doesn't work out, but well, Scorch is looking better now. I was gonna say, we probably do wanna end up using our melee nerf, of course, so in some ways, scorching a melee unit is not super helpful. So I think what we do is we, we play Tsiri here as well. It does mean we are investing a lot in this round, but then that leaves us with still having our siege set up for a subsequent round. Okay, you have Letho. You have heroes as well. So that means he won't get scorched. He also won't get nerfed, even though he's in the melee row. So, hmm. Um, so this is definitely not going to do anything for us. We can now confirm. Because we will not draw any more cards in this game. So this is a way to just bide ourselves some time. Let's do this. I'm just trying to get you to play another card here that we could potentially scorch or nerf with a melee nerf. Uh, which one are you doubling? Yeah, that's fine. In fact, that's more than fine. It means we are just going to remove an even stronger unit now. That's cool. If you want to play more stuff in there, I mean, you'd have to have another 10 strength unit, which is probably pretty unlikely. But it is tempting. We say melee nerf and then try scorching, I'm thinking. Of course, we have heroes in the melee row, so they're not affected by it. Does mean we, at least temporarily here, take the lead. And that's one of the fancy schmancy cards that we got for uh, Zoltan. Although we've seen several people use it before, so I had my doubts as to how valuable that really is. So it is in the range row, so it does get doubled. It will not get nerfed, or will not get uh, scorched, because this one's still the highest card. It still makes no sense to me how this random black infantry archer has higher strength than... Frangila Vigo, the extremely rare card. You're just like a generic unit, and yet you have the same strength as Letho. Just makes no sense. All right, so I think we Scorch nonetheless. That will reduce you by 20, bring you down to 24. You will presumably need to play multiple cards. I don't think you'll be able to make up that difference with just one. Uh, maybe if you play something in the range row. That's a hero. Does go in the melee row, but it's unaffected. Ah, okay. Was that? Oh, he's a ah, he's a medic. You can play that back from your graveyard. Okay. Well, I mean, in that case, I think we forced you to play what was probably your best card in this round here. This is probably where we pass and take a small card advantage with the last round. You have your hero ability remaining, as do we. Your leader ability. Yours is to look at three random cards in our hand, which is not going to do much. Ours is to double our siege row. We have a bunch of siege cards remaining, so I think we definitely do still have an advantage going in here. And there's not much benefit to playing any more cards, so I think we definitely do pass now. So they win this round, of course. But I think we have enough of an advantage, at least I'm hoping that we do. We can win round three here. Okay, that one will get doubled if you play more of the same type of card, which is a little bit concerning if you do, in fact, have multiple of them. You very well may. With something that we could have potentially nerfed with the melee nerf last time around. Okay, now you're looking at our, our cards. whoop de doo Guess what? They're all siege cards. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're all going to play all of our cards because it's the last round anyway. So even if you did understand what you were trying to do here, or what you would do in response to understanding my hand that wouldn't make much of a difference. So I think we actually do want to use our leader ability now in the interest of having one more turn in which we do not have the highest unit out there. Because it is still the five. Two cards remaining. Now it's unavoidable. Something's getting deleted. If you do have a Scorch, so let's not play our 8 strength catapult, let's play one of the trebuchets instead, and there is the Scorch, as anticipated. And you may have another one as your last card here, but even if that is the case, we should still have you. Okay. 
And now we do, because we've already surpassed you here, and we can just play a few more cards to rub it in your face. Turn out, pretty comfortable victory there. And our first victory in Skeleton, no less. Get some coins, we get a card out of it. Ooh, a monster card, actually. Solano Harpy. It's been a long time since we last got a monster card. It was... You. Two strength. We can play you in either the melee or range row. That is still pretty horrendous. I think monsters is far and away our weakest faction at the moment. 